here we are, leaving Miami once again on I-95 North. Well, hello, Pelican Heads, and welcome to another adventure. It is 11-11-2018, uh, and I kind of left Miami at 11-11 this afternoon, about an hour ago. Today we begin a new adventure. This one will take uh, anywhere from three weeks to almost a month, and uh, I, I, I intend to explore some of Georgia and Alabama. Unfortunately, this first leg of the trip I'm doing solo, but Ely is joining me in Atlanta, so that should be that that's gonna be a lot of fun but the way the truck is pulling a little to the left still I don't know if it's, it's probably some kind of misadjustment with the weight distribution hitch I'm gonna address that soon I mean it's not too bad but you know, it's it's a it makes for an uncomfortable drive not to mention that my tires might wear out uh, faster anyways may the, may the adventure begin Tonight I'm much docking at a viewer's house near Cocoa Beach. Uh, tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, nothing. The day after tomorrow we have a, a meetup at the Daytona Beach Brewing Company and uh, hopefully I get to meet a lot of you guys, which is actually the best part of, of, of this thing that I'm doing, you know, this community we have created, the Pelican Heads. You wanna see something funny? <laughs> Check out that bumper sticker. I know, I couldn't resist. Well, today I am much ducking at fellow RVers Bob and Cheryl's home, and I'm almost there. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. yeah, this is our Coco Village if you, Yeah, if you drive through there, you know, you'll see some older houses There's a bunch of shops and stuff Soon after I arrive, Bob's daughter Jenny and her husband Omar They take me for a quick tour around the area go across the Indian River, which is this brackish lagoon, part of the intercoastal waterway, 121 miles long. Now going into Merritt Island. The southern portion is mostly residential, but the northern portion, that's Cape Canaveral. Now we are in Coco Beach. Here's the Dinosaur Store and Museum and Ron John Surf Shop. We've seen all the signs from I-95 many times and the Coco Beach Surf Company as well. And here's Ron John, once again, considered the largest surf shop in the world and it is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Now let's check out the Coco Beach Pier. Woo! Live music! Very nice ambience here, it is definitely happening. And they have volleyball at the beach. Definitely gonna return one of these days with more time. Oh, and they have one of these giant chairs. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. All right, let's continue exploring.
Next, we're gonna go into Port Canaveral. The new cool-looking building is called the Exploration Tower, and it has an observation deck and a bunch of other stuff. I think it is supposed to look like a sail. A spinnaker, perhaps. We are losing light here real quick. But look at that sunset coming up. Let's check out the Jetty Park campground. The main campground here is off limits, but there might be another area we can see. This here? They look like boondocking spots, but oddly enough, they do have water. Oddly enough, only water, but you get a view of the ships coming in and out of Port Canaveral. If I come, I want to stay right here, even if it is only water. That's kind of odd, though. Only water. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey. Omar and Jenny. They, they've given me a tour here of... of Port Canaveral. Port, Port Canaveral will be this area, of course. And uh, it's always great to meet people on the road because they, they can show you things that you wouldn't notice otherwise. So now we're going to check out the beach and then we're going to have some IPAs because... We the Florida Brewing Company. All right. You know why? Because we can. <laughs> hey, exactly. <laughs> and it's Veterans Day. Happy yeah. Veterans Day to all those vets. Yes, happy Veterans Day. And thank you for serving. <laughs> and there goes that big ship again. I'll zoom in and see. It's a pelican. I was hoping it was because then I could say... Fly, Pelican! Hey Robert, you know where I can get some coffee? Because you know what time it is. It's 7 a.m. somewhere, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Very, very pleasant beach here. A very quiet. And it has that hard-packed sand that some eastern Florida beaches are known for. Hey, check it out. My motto. Free in my RV. <laughs> that was really cool. That's cool. Well, that was a great idea, Omer. Coming to the beach. That was a great idea, man. Oh, yes. Coming here. Oh, we, we almost didn't do it, but we did. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Our next stop, the Florida Brewing Company. Gotta have some IPAs, right? It's coming up. And here we are, and this place is definitely happening. Lots of people and a live band. Let's sit here at the bar, get some local brews. Too loud in here, really? I must be getting old. And back there, they have the actual brewing facilities.
Hot Pink, that was the name of the band. Well, it is time to go back home, to my host's home for some dinner. And it was a great time catching up and getting to know each other. It was definitely a fun evening. Well, good morning. I'm gonna go for a quick run here around this beautiful neighborhood, get the blood flowing. Rob and Cheryl invited me to breakfast at Port Canaveral, so here we go. And there's a Disney cruise in port. Well, here we are with Cheryl and Bob, and we're gonna have breakfast uh, today here at... Uh, we're in Port Canaveral, right? Port Canaveral, yes. And uh, I really want to thank you for, for letting me stay last night at, at your home. It's our pleasure. It's been a great time. Let's go eat now. Okay. <laughs> well, we are going to eat breakfast here at this place called Grills. It is supposed to be really good. And check out the location, right here, by the new Royal Caribbean Terminal. And uh, we are going to sit right here by the marina. Fly, Pelican! Yeah, right on cue. Oh gosh, my voice is completely gone. Well, anyways, I think we're gonna have the the breakfast burrito here at, at breakfast at Grills. Awesome burrito, by the way. Definitely coming back to this area at some point soon. And maybe even watch a rocket launch. That would be super cool. Let's check out the Disney cruise ship real quick here before we leave, shall we? Yeah, you probably get the full Disney experience in there. Even the anchor is in the shape of the Fantasia Mickey. Well, it is the happiest place on earth after all. Check it out, the VAB or Vehicle Assembly Building. It's almost time to go. This is where I boondocked uh, last night, of course, mush docked. That's their, I don't know if you can see it, their big, their big super sea back there. And uh, yeah, I want to thank Bob and Cheryl for letting me stay here and, uh, and for inviting me to a great breakfast. And now well, up to Daytona we go. That's a good looking sticker he's got there. The one on the right, anyways. I was going to take I-95, but I've changed my mind. Instead, we are going to take US-1, the more scenic route all the way to our next destination, which happens to be Tomoka State Park in Ormond Beach, just north of Daytona Beach. And I don't know why, but the GPS is taking me through all these industrial areas, but it's fine, we'll make it there. By the way, Bob helped me adjust the weight distribution hitch this morning, and I think we've nailed it. No more pulling to the left. Riding, riding, my RV. Well, here we are, finally, US-1. I am really glad I'm finally getting to see this area of Florida. As many people see the Midwest as flyover country, up until now, with very few rare exceptions, this had been my drive over Florida, since I am always in a hurry to get out of the state. It is such a long state, especially when you live like me, at the very bottom of it. I can't believe how much I had missed until now. It's been a pretty miserable drive so far. We are approaching uh, Ormond Beach here. And uh, soon after, Tomoka State Park. They said scattered thunderstorms. There's nothing scattered about this. It's been raining the whole time. Oh well.
I arrive at the park under this torrential thunderstorm of biblical proportions. You've arrived. I mean, I haven't seen it rain like this in quite a while, and it's about to get worse. All right, all you gotta do, I'll give this to you. You're in site number 30, mm -hmm. okay? Take a right-hand turn right here. All the way over, you're gonna come up to a stop sign, take another right-hand turn, head back to our campsite. When you go back there, go to your left, it's a one-way road. So it's right turn, right turn, left turn. All right. Okay, all right. there you go. Thank you. Because it's all sunshiny, I'd ask you to come inside, please. He kept talking and talking, and all I wanted to do was close my window because the truck was getting soaked inside. Oh my... Now it's really coming down, isn't it? This is crazy. There's a creek going through my sight. Well, there's only one thing to do. There's like a big wood block in the middle of my sight. I wonder. Oh well, I'm gonna get soaked anyways. Alright, let's back it in, there's only one way to do it and of course I've got someone waiting behind me as to add pressure to an already tense and stressful situation here, but I've done this before, I can do it. This is one of those moments where a backup camera on the trailer would have come really handy. Okay, go ahead. Sorry to make you wait. Oh, brother. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the Florida soil is like a sponge. As soon as it stops raining, it sucks up all the water. Well, the rain has uh, subsided. But still, everything is now kind of muddy and messy. But what can you do? You saw how it was when I arrived here. We got water and electric here at this site. But yeah, there's there's mud and sand caked in everywhere. I need to get in touch with Randall, my friend from from Jacksonville. Anyways, this is what I've been doing. I um, I started finishing yet another video. The, the one about the review of uh, Minitini here and the truck. Well, let's explore the campground a little bit here. 
Okay, there seems to be a little trail here. Ooh, and check it out. That's my site right there. Check it out. There it is. I see water. I'm not sure whether this is the Tomoka River or the Halifax River or both. But in any case, it is a nice secret spot here. Ideal to see the sunset. afternoon, I also got to meet Jasper, the camp host, and he watches my videos. It was great to meet you. Good morning, everybody, and greetings from the Tomoka State Park here in Ormond uh, Beach. I believe this is one way. I'm just gonna um, explore the area a little bit, uh, the Ormond uh, Loop, and there's a bunch of historic uh, places around here, and uh, and, and then we'll see what else we can see. Probably the lighthouse and the, and the Daytona Speedway will be another good one. We'll see. This is the Tomoka outpost towards the end of the park. So let's check it out. Seems to be a combination convenience store, concession, cafeteria. Oh, this is beautiful. And they have something called the Tomoka EPA, which stands for English Pale Ale, so it's probably pretty good. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff here. All right, I'll be back definitely for that Tomoka EPA. Very nice and uh, peaceful out here. Such an exemplary Florida landscape. All right, let's go to Ormond Beach. And here we are. Let's go across to the other side of the inner coastal. Here we have the Rockefeller Gardens. They are right across the street from the casements, formerly the home of J.D. Rockefeller. Here's the casements, Rockefeller's former home. I came to the post office because I had to mail some uh, stickers to Finland and I was fresh out of international stamps, so um, let's continue exploring Ormond Beach. Okay, let's go to the northern side of the bridge, to the Fortunato Park. This is all that remains of the Ormond Hotel, built in 1887 and enlarged by Henry Flagler in the 1890s. Is that a pie sign or a rejected remnant of Stonehenge? Well, let's go see Rockefeller's house, shall we?
Well, that was pretty cool. They were not quite open yet. And they do have events like for Christmas and stuff. So uh, we might be back one of these days. Yeah. Let's check out this neighborhood here. Clearance 9 feet 6 inches. Must be the trees. We take a one as part of the Ormond Trail, which is this highway that hugs the east coast of Florida. Here we encounter this replica of what would have been one of the many submarine lookout towers like this one along the east coast during World War II. Actually, in some places I've read this is a replica and in others I've read this is one of the few remaining ones from 1942. It actually looks pretty good to me so at the very least it has probably been nicely restored. Okay, let's see all this from above. continue going north onto Flagler Beach and here's Gamble Rogers State Park one of these days I hope to be able to camp here although this place is fully booked a year in advance some planning shall go into this let's go back south into Daytona Beach there's La Playa we stayed there many years ago before we had an RV Our next stop, the Ponce de Leon Inlet Lighthouse, just north of New Smyrna Beach. There's a 695 entrance fee to see the museum and to climb up the lighthouse.
Must be in good physical condition. Mm, totally makes sense. Let's climb the 203 steps. And this is, by the way, Florida's tallest lighthouse. The current structure dating back to 1887. It is getting steeper the, the higher we go. from the top are magnificent. Yeah, I still don't know how to park that truck. I will soon. Safer inside. Oh, check it out. That's the, the Fresno lens turning around. Down we go. Well, that was much easier than that tower we had to climb in Boston. All right, we made it. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Anyway, this was pretty cool. I always wanted to come here. I'm tempted to fly the drone. And it is once again a beautiful sunny day. Check it out. Let's check out this house, which was the first assistant keeper's dwelling. You are not allowed inside, but you can look through the glass. It's kind of Victrola. It would have, would have been cool to go inside, but... They want to preserve it as it was. It's a representation of the lens. See how much more it lights up. interesting the history although the main reason I went in there originally was for the air conditioning let's face it they have some Cuban rafts let's check them out they have one from 1989 and one from 1994 which was probably the most active period right after the collapse of the Soviet Union, when the conditions on the island became truly desperate. I remember hearing in the news of the hundreds of people arriving daily. Yep, the Florida Straits, not the easiest to navigate. And many people did not make it. How many? We may never know. You probably have to be really crazy or, or really desperate to attempt crossing the Florida Strait uh, on one of these. Remember, we have the, the Gulf Stream. I mean, it's, it's not the easiest uh, of passes. Well, they have, a, they have a nature trail. If, it's, if the bugs are not too severe, I'm gonna do a little bit of it. Hmm, mosquito inlet. I don't know. I don't know if I should do this.
I am going to have lunch at this place called DJ's Deck. It is supposed to be pretty good. And found parking right here by the water. Okay, let's go in. I'm having a Cloud9 IPA from the Ormond Brewing Company and a Mahi sandwich. Yes, really cool place to eat here in Ormond Beach. It is one of those places that has the look of a great seafood place. It's a great Mahi sandwich. Now, um, let's see what else we can do. This was DJ's Deck Seafood and Row Bar. <sighs> that mahi made me sleepy, so I'm going to the campground for a nap. And then, then we'll have the meetup at the brewery. Let's do it. I almost overslept. Here we are, Daytona Beach. Well, I'm going to the meetup now. Great. Good to see you guys. Great to meet you. Yes. Bra so, you, did you uh, did, did you uh, bring you did you bring that rain with you last night? Oh. The, my, my site at the, at, the RV, at the RV park, it was like a creek going through the <laughs> I've been well, talking well, a lot and watching. Of course, watched, I, I think I've watched every video you've made. That's a lot of watching. That's a lot of watching. <laughs> watching. <laughs> you know, if you ever look how many I got, I'm coming up on 700. 700. But not, some of yours is pretty well. I watched the one Sunday. Mm -hmm. I spent four hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a four hour one. Yeah. It was good though. It yeah. kind of put that whole trip together. Yeah, you know, this, yeah. this meetup started September 1st. I know. Yeah, that was, that was the original one. And, uh, and so, what is, what is today? The November thirteenth. Thirteenth. So about, about two, uh, two and a half, almost two and a half, half months. Almost two and a half months, but we're finally here. And right? Kia was murdered in the in the process. Yeah. Oh, poor Kia. <laughs> nice, true. nice truck though. I love the truck. Look at the Colorado. Of course, you know. The oh, rain. you got some mud in it now. There it's you not go. No longer. No. Of course not. <laughs> there you go. Still on. More people start showing up, and we just hang out at the parking lot until I realize that we should go into the brewery, right? <laughs> We're here at the Daytona Beach Brewing Company, and we got all these people here who came to hang out. So let's have a couple of beers and, uh, and share stories from the road, shall we? Three IPAs on tap today. Three? I don't know. I have to drive back to the campground. <laughs> oh, and they have tacos. Of course, we had to take a group picture, and that was so much fun. I just realized I didn't get to see the Daytona International Speedway. Hmm. Another time, perhaps. Before we go, let's go for a walk. 
around the campground. Oh yeah, my lens is suffering from some condensation since I had this the AC on in the RV and it's still humid here in Florida. Kind of an overcast day. Seems to be a good fishing spot, although she said that the fish are not biting, so that's that. Let's continue exploring. I was gonna go all the way to the outpost, the store, but it is closed on Wednesdays. Well, here I am with my new friend, the camp host. Jasper. Jasper, here at... Uh, at, where the heck are we? At, Tomoka oh, Tomoka State, State Park. Tomoka, Tomoka State <laughs> it's Park. early for me. I haven't had my breakfast yeah, yet. Common Beach. So uh, it was great to meet you. Hey, fantastic seeing you. After seeing all your videos. Oh, thank you. Time to go. There is a traffic jam getting out of the campground. And now I'm going to meet up with my friend Randall in Jacksonville. He's actually Minitini's official RV detailer. Anyways, he and his dad gave uh, Minitini and the Colorado a great wash and then we got to hang out and catch up. Not for long because we're gonna go through some uh, some some rain here pretty soon. But it's it's gonna be still a lot better than it was after we left that, that uh, campground. Anyways, Georgia, here we come, coming soon. <laughs> 